You know, I was originally gonna call this video something dramatic, like Da Vinci Resolve Guy hates Da Vinci Resolve 18. But then I thought, hmm, too much. Because let's be honest, I don't hate Da Vinci Resolve 18. In fact, I'm very excited about Da Vinci Resolve 18. It's got a lot of great new features. That being said, I have used Da Vinci Resolve 18 on a few projects now, and I can say without a doubt, it's not ready. Now, for those of you who are familiar with DaVinci Resolve, have been using it for a little while, then you're probably sitting there thinking, well, of course not. It's still in beta. There's still kinks to work out. And that's very, very true. But hear me out. I've been on DaVinci Resolve since 15 beta, I think. And every beta version that's come out for 15, 16, 17, they've all been, yes, a little buggy, but otherwise very, very usable. DaVinci Resolve beta, not so much. So if you're one of those people that have been watching all of the videos about the amazing new tools in DaVinci Resolve 18 and you're thinking to yourself, I need to get on this now, here are a few reasons why you might want to wait. Oh, and let me know in the comments, what bugs have you experienced in DaVinci Resolve 18? Let's start a conversation. First of all, render cache. In fact, most of all, render cache. I don't know what happened between DaVinci Resolve 17 and DaVinci Resolve 18 beta, but render cache is just straight up broken. Let me explain. I usually set my timeline or my projects to smart render cache. That way, anything that I put into the timeline that DaVinci Resolve says, hey, this is gonna take a little bit extra power to process. It's gonna go ahead and render that for me so I can have smooth playback. And in DaVinci Resolve 17, it was great. It was a total lifesaver, especially on some of my more heavy fusion compositions, some of the effects that I was using. In DaVinci Resolve 18, sometimes that fusion cache straight up, well, first of all, it takes forever no matter what you do. And second of all, it sometimes just completely freezes and I have to like quit DaVinci Resolve and restart it in order for that render cache to get moving again. It's really, really annoying. But what's more annoying than that, what's even more broken than that is when the render cache is done doing its thing, my playback is actually worse. I don't know why. That's like the opposite of what's supposed to happen. So somebody, if you know what's going on, please, let me know because I've gone over all of my project settings. I've looked at everything. Everything is up to date. I, I don't understand it. Now let's talk about project settings, more specifically project presets. I use a lot of project presets for the different types of projects that I work on. I've got one for my YouTube videos. I've got one for, you know, the more common freelance work that I do. I've just, I've got a lot of presets and it used to be that you go into your project settings, you click on a preset, you hit load, and then you get out of project settings, and now your project is set to whatever the preset was. It was simple, it was easy. It worked every single time. That That's broken now. In DaVinci Resolve 18, what are we on, beta two now? Maybe beta three by the time this video comes out, but now, I will go, I will load my preset like I always do. I'll go out of the project settings. And then when I go back into the project settings, for whatever reason, I'm back on the default settings, the 1920 by 1080p instead of the 4K project that I was working on, or at least that I thought I was working on just 10 seconds ago. The good news is, is you can still set new project defaults in DaVinci Resolve. So I, you know, did that for the project settings that I use the most, which is for YouTube. and that works well, but if I need to load a preset, it's broken right now. I have to go in and manually do all the settings. It's not a huge deal. It doesn't take long to set up a project, but every little second counts when you're on a time crunch. All right, one, one more bug, and then we'll get to like my overall thoughts so far on DaVinci Resolve 18, which you might think are like horrible, but just stick around. Master timelines. If you don't know what a master timeline is, it's basically a timeline that has every single video clip and image and whatever you have in your media pool is just put into this big master timeline. And you can do things like color grade, add effects and all that stuff to these clips. And then when you take those files and you cut them up in your main project timeline, all of the color grades or whatever you did to that footage in the master timeline is automatically applied to the smaller clips in your project timeline. It's great. It's amazing. It saves a lot of time. You don't have to like group clips together in the color page. You can just color grade the master timeline. Well, for some reason that's broken. I will go and I will color grade 
the uh, the A roll for one of my YouTube videos. I'll just do the master clip and I will edit that or I'll color grade that. And then when I go into my main project timeline, uh, I'm still left with the original footage. The master timeline color grade does not apply. I don't know what that is. Maybe there's a, a new setting somewhere that I need to change or, or something, but it used to work and now it doesn't work and I don't understand it. Now, do I think that DaVinci Resolve is ruined forever? No, I have full confidence in the Blackmagic design team that they're gonna have all of this stuff fixed by the time the full release is out. Maybe in the next beta or the next couple betas, all this stuff will be fixed. That's the purpose of having a beta. By the way, Blackmagic Design, thank you for making it clear that you're using beta software and not pretending that you're releasing a very, very buggy full release like some other companies that we know. That being said, I think right now you should probably hold off on switching over to DaVinci Resolve 18, especially if you need it for time sensitive or professional work. Unless of course you have a secondary machine that you can put DaVinci Resolve 18 on to play around with, and then you've still got your main machine with DaVinci Resolve 17 in order to do that time sensitive or professional work. Thanks for watching.